Yes, yeah, yeah. so uh, this is a rather vintage piece of technology called a gel scroller. Not so common these days, but uh, some people still use them. Uh, and what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be loading a new gel roll in. What it does, it's basically, it goes in front of a light and it's got a roll of gels, different colours, and when you send it the appropriate uh, data, it turns to the appropriate colour in front of the light. And it means that one light can be several colours. Uh, it's kind of like, it's a way of converting old, older style lights to something more useful, so to speak. So we're just, uh, we've been servicing these ones and we're just loading a new gel into it. So the first thing we do is we stick the gel in with a piece of tape. It uh, also locks into the cylinder with a uh, metal pin that just sits into it and hooks. And then we shall load the gel on like this. And this is where I try not to let go of it suddenly at the end. Oh, here nice it goes. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll just pull it taut gently just to get it all settled in the roll, then wind it forward a bit, and then see we'll hold it while I just three, four, five, six, and pre-tension the roller, then the gel slides into it. Then I shall just hold that in place while another bit of tape gets put on. And the unit will now, uh, it knows there's a 16 piece of gel in this, but now it's going to wind it to the beginning with a loud thud when it hits the end because it's finding its end limit. Then it goes to the other end, finds its end limit there, and then it will scroll backwards and forwards faster between those two limits without actually physically hitting the stop. Because this is it just settling the gel in the rollers so that it comes off consistently. And it also probably monitors the number of pulses, or I don't know if it's a, a potentiometer or a pulse feedback, probably pulse feedback, and it's probably monitoring for any differences in the length of this uh, as the gel settles in the rollers. And then once it's done that, that's it calibrated. So that's fundamental. It's going to do this about 16 times now. If I'm counting up on the display in hexadecimal, B, C, Z. I'm not sure why it uh, does it in hexadecimal. I suppose it's because it's just a nice great way to count to 16 with a single digit, really, which is the point of hexadecimal. Uh, and that's it. It'll do some, it'll scroll one end to the other and just sort of jitter it a bit. I'm not sure why it jiggles it a wee bit. It, uh, absolutely no need to do this, but it does it anyway. Yeah, okay. And that's it loaded and ready to have the address set and go into use.